okay so ian we are uh, we will start with work center for today okay so yep. the t code to create work center is i r 01 okay t code to create work center is i r 01 yep. as we discussed yesterday okay uh, the work center and planning plant okay work center and planning plant will be set up to the planning plant will be set up to the planning plant okay so this plant is a planning plant okay just for your uh, info okay okay so today we yep. create uh, pn1 okay so if you want to create a work center work center category is mandatory if suppose you are not entering work center and if you are press entering it will give error message okay it will give the error message so mandately give 004 or 009 okay 004 or sorry 003 003 it's double zero or triple zero triple zero okay it's triple zero three fine yeah okay so we'll use the b03 okay labor right press center okay let's maximize yes. this screen okay give the description okay for n uh it um, maintenance it work center okay it work center we keep as it work center yep okay and one more thing okay one, one more thing there is something called long text there is something called long text okay short text will go up to only max 40 characters short text will go only up to max 40 characters okay <clears throat> Short text will go up to max forty characters. Okay. Long text. If you want to enter, okay. you can enter a number of data. Lot of data means it's no restriction. It will come in a word file, not file like that. Word file. So there we can enter a number of data. If you see, okay. Okay. So we can enter any data over here. Okay, you can enter any data over here. Yeah. Okay. Lot of data, anything we can write over yeah. here. Okay. So this is long text. Okay. Come back. And the person responsible. Okay. Who is 
responsible for the maintenance activities. That is whether the work is going correctly, any people is lagging their work, whether it is going as per the schedule, and that is what related to work site, person responsible. That we will be doing SP or a configuration later. First, we'll go with the master data. Okay. And location, okay. it's about uh, how we can tell in the means, plan, production area, storage area, okay, the, like this, or you can keep as administrative area, chemical department, like that you can put. Okay, that is called as location. Okay, and uh, yeah. usage, I told yesterday, usage is very, very important in work center. It is 004 or 009 mandatory. It's 004 or 009 mandatory, if you remember. Okay, and it control key SAP is zero. Yep. Okay. Come to activate default values. Take and control key PM01. What is control key? We'll see when work center starts. Okay, as of keep as PM01. Capacity U002 Haber. Come to capacity button down. Okay. View the description for yeah. IT, ENT, okay. Factory calendar, we discussed like yeah. this. So, in factory calendar, each, each place may have change of uh, holidays and uh, uh, weekends, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday. So, that holidays, weekends, holidays, everything will be updated in the factory calendar. Okay. So, yeah. the, the German. For just for our purpose, but when in project we need to get the proper factory calendar for that. So regarding the timings, it's we can change the timings. This is not the mandatory. So just they are kept as morning 7 a.m. to evening 5 a.m. 5 p.m. with the break one hour. Okay. So it's nine yeah. hours for one resource. If you take three resource, it will be 27 hours. If yeah. you take five resource, okay, it will be 45 hours okay so if you want to use capacity only 50 percent of this you can reduce the capacity over here you can reduce the capacity over here so our capacity gets reduced okay so this is very yeah. important part with respect to work center because this is the main reason we are creating our work center okay but here keep other formula sap 004 okay and yeah. Go to scheduling, take as labor and other formula SAP 004. Right, go to the costing, cost center. What is cost center? Cost center is the place where our cost is going to flow. When we complete our engineering service, how much cost has been incurred, uh, uh, spent up. So that will be our cost center. Go to a four, yeah. take a cost center for our plant. Okay, for thousand. Okay, cost center for our thousand. Okay, so this is about yeah. the cost center. This two piece is very, very important. This two piece is very, very important. We'll discuss when the work order comes. During work order, we need to discuss on labor cost. That labor cost will be coming from here. That labor cost will be coming from. Yeah, this is about the work center. Okay, just we have gone again a refresh because uh, this recording is going on the same thing. Okay, so I am saving this. So, work center is created for plant. I am one for plant thousand work centers created. Any questions, doubts? Any open questions? Uh, no, no questions. Okay, that sounds good. Now we start with equipment. Okay, so what is equipment? What is equipment? Equipment is the object on which we can carry our maintenance pump, motor, engine, or gearbox, valve, strainer. All our equipments, anything you can keep as equipment on which you can carry your maintenance. Even in our home, we have our TV, refrigerator, washing machine. If you want to do maintenance on that, that to be set up as equipment, that to be set up as equipment in SAP, then only we can carry our maintenance. Okay, how to create a equipment? We'll see, right? How to create a equipment? We'll see now. 
TQ to create equipment is IE01. And IE01. IE, IE01. IE01. Okay. Okay. TQ to create yep. equipment is IE01. Okay. Yep. So, <clears throat> so equipment category. Category is very, very important. Category is very, very important. General standard category is machines. Okay. Standard category is machines. Okay. So, take as machines, press enter. Okay. Press enter. Give the yep. description for EN uh, motor. For EN uh, computer. Okay. Computer one. Yep. Okay. Computer one. <laughs> Okay, so same long touch, short touch. There is no difference in that. There is no difference in that. Okay. What is objective? What is objective? Any idea? What is objective? Any guess? Ian, you are there? Hello? Yep. No, no, what is object type? Any guess I'm asking? You're asking what the object type is. Okay. Object type is nothing but what kind of object it is. Yeah. Pump, motor, wall, okay, compressor, uh, pipeline, okay, car, trucks, magnets, belt, anything. Anything the object on which you are going to carry me is that object can be set up as objective for for grouping purpose. For grouping, you can see how many maintenance have been carried for supplier. How many maintenance have been carried for wall? How many maintenance have been carried for boiler? Like that, we can track it out. Okay. So as of now, we'll take as yeah. motor. Okay, as of now, we'll take as motor. So weight, what is the weight of your motor? 500 kg, okay, 500 kg, okay. Dimension, if you have size and dimension, you can have a size and dimension, 500 into 400, okay. And yep. uh, inventory number, just in your nameplate details, there might be inventory number. In your nameplate details, there would be inventory number. If you want, you can enter or you can keep and hold, okay. <laughs> and then acquisition value, what is the cost of your object? 500. US dollars, USD, 500 US dollars. Yep. Okay. So manufacturer, manufacturer, who is the manufacturer? Siemens. Okay. Or Panasonic. Or, or Suzuki. Company name, which company? Okay. Manufacturing yep. country, uh, oh, London, UK. <laughs> UK, anything is there? No. Let me see inside London. GB. Sorry? UK, I think it's under GB. GB, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, great bitter. Fine, that sounds good. Okay, you the country. Model number, if you have any model number, IN35, like that, if you have model number, you can enter. Country, yeah. 2018, 2018, month is December. If you have manufacturer part number, you can enter manufacturer part number. Okay. If you have yep. serial number, you uh, can enter. Serial number. Okay. Serial number, you can enter. Of all these important data is your maintenance plan. If you are not entering your maintenance plan, you cannot use this equipment anywhere. You nope, yeah. cannot. Sorry? Yep, yeah, I understand that, yeah. If you are not maintaining your maintenance plan, you do anything, you keep any data. But when your maintenance plan is not there or if you are keeping wrong maintenance plan, you cannot use this maintenance plan. Okay. First key data is maintenance plan. I told yesterday itself in the demo. Maintenance plan is the mother. Yesterday I told. So, we should be very clear. Maintenance plan is 
correct maintenance plant is set up okay correct maintenance plant is set up so 1000 okay this is the same location production area that now room room means um, chemical department ch r1 okay r mechanical department mch room 1 that is manually you can enter anything that is that also directs to a location that also directs to a place that also directs to a place okay and then okay. plant section plant section is the technical name of a plant in your company technical name of a place in your company for example chemical section uh, yeah. cooling system cooling section drying drying area condenser area that and all are called the plant section okay that and all are called the plant section okay okay work center we just now created okay the group of resources for our maintenance right see for yen white yep. it work center okay a b c d get how much critical this object is how much critical this okay. object yeah okay so generally abc will be used yeah. production loss reduce production loss no effect of production loss okay will take as production loss sort field is just used for grouping purpose is just used for example what i can tell now you are there you are in your company you are dealing with only 25 objects 25 equipments so your work won't go out of the 25 so during that time each time you don't want to remember your equipment number if you enter sort field as your name in all the equipments just through report you can go and take the equipments see here i'm putting now here yeah let's keep it we'll see how it is address okay take address mr yeah okay yeah mr yan okay and then street name this and all you can enter country uk okay if you have post box number number give the number postal code if you have give the number everything a telephone number whatever you want you can give here <laughs> okay save it yeah gb gb something right i think GB. Yeah. okay see here even if you want street name you give a street name yarn yarn area okay and postal code uk okay united kingdom yeah. okay see here everything will come over here okay then see since i entered maintenance plant here mother father will come automatically got me since yep, i entered yeah. a maintenance plant here your company code and for planning plant is coming here automatically yep. okay yep then We know what is cost center. We know what is cost center. Cost where it is going. Yeah, to. yeah, our cost center is yeah. Cost center and planner group. This guy will be responsible for planning of maintenance activities. When to start the maintenance activity? Yep. Okay, whether any preventive maintenance to be done. Okay, or uh, any uh, if from production people may inform anything to the planner guy. Past tomorrow that system is free. We won't use for our maintenance production activity. You can ask the maintenance activities to carry the work. So there won't be 10 or 10 motors. Some places there will be 500,000 objects. So one planner mandate should be there to do the planning. He is the planner group. Okay. That is the planner group. Okay. okay. And note clearly there are two work centers. One is this work center. Another one main work center. Our PM work center is this one. Cut me. Yeah, Our oh, PM yeah. work center is this one. This is PP work center. This work center is a PP work center. Got me. This work center is a PP work center. Our work center is this work center. Okay. Yeah. Our work center is this one. Catalog profile we'll see later. That comes when notification comes. That we'll discuss at that time. Okay. 
so come to structure so your equipment should be installed to a functional location your equipment should be installed to a functional location be installed yeah the structure tab go to this button okay change installation give your plan for which you need to install this you a functional location to which this is to be installed click t functional location has been set up right okay if yeah. you want to okay let's see that okay then warranty we see later that is a separate topic that we see later other days so this is how to create a work center any questions as of now till now any open questions uh, no no questions now okay i am saving this equipment okay i am saving this equipment equipment will be generated with number ranges numbers generally equipment will be yep. set up with numbers okay now what are other things we need to see in the equipment what are the other things we need to see in the equipment now this equipment is installed to a functional location can we change it yes we can change we can change go to this button dismantle dismantle if you click you can remove this functional location okay yeah you can remove and you can install new functional location you can install another functional location this is dismantling and installing see if both are having different plans it won't allow you to install if both are having different plans it won't allow you to install so take functional location of plan 2000 this is company code okay remove the company okay code. yeah go to cost center okay there is cost center here you will have maintenance plan here you will have maintenance plan right so you can take your functional location from there so what we did now we had installed it from the old functional location removed it and we had installed new functional location correct yes okay that sounds good this is how to install and in uninstall a functional location this is one point <laughs> second point okay the next point is if suppose business is thinking in the means okay business uh, there is some uh, they are removing this system removing this pump motor from the place itself before it was 10 motors now last motor they are removed only nine motors is there but that system motor will be there in the system wrongly someone should not create any maintenance or any activity correct so that can be done by deletion flag got it deletion flag yep okay see here dlfl dlft deletion flag set right. deletion flag set yep. okay come back save this now see if i open it will give message if you open also it will give message see do you want to carry transaction information t system status dlfl is active system status dlfl is active yes go in say and then remove see even it is in display mode even in change it is in display mode now you change your deletion flag reset so now the status again change to installed fine yep fine so this is about installation and installation okay uh, this is about act, deletion flag set active inactive okay then um, what are the things we can do even if you want to modify your maintenance plan whether can be done maintenance plan equipment can be yes go to edit change maintenance plan go to edit change maintenance plan you can change okay you cannot change now because this equipment is already installed to a functional location got it so it is not allowing to change 
So go here, dismantle it, then come to change your maintenance plan. You can do. See, now I'm able to do. The meeting will close. If the meeting closes, join in the same link again, okay? Join in the same link. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, we'll take us uh, 1,005. 2,000. Yeah. See here. 2000 is set. This is how to change the maintenance plan. If you want to change the category, you can change your category. Right? So, yeah. and uh, anything equipment I need to tell. Uh, yeah, this is about the equipment. Ah, yeah. Now I'll put again Ian is there. I'll create another equipment. See, I'm creating new equipment. Okay. Okay. Yep. Give description. Computer 2. Okay. Go to location. Give your plan 1000. Okay. Go to short field IAN. Okay. Save it. Now yep. create another equipment. Okay. 3. Go to location. Give 1000. Go to short field. Give IAN. I'm saving. Now I want to list my equipments. Go to IH08. IH08. Go to short field. Go to short field. Where is short field? Yeah. Give an IAN. Execute it. See our equipment we got. Computer 1 and 2 and 3. Right? This is the use of sort field to group your objects. To group your objects. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Uh, no. no questions. So uh, this is about equipment and uh, anything I need to tell in equipment. One more thing. Equipment number once created, this number cannot be renamed. Cannot be renamed. Okay, it cannot be renamed. Equipment once created, okay. number cannot be renamed. Okay, and there is something called system status, user status. There is something called system status and user status. Any idea? Any guess? System status, user status? Yeah, we've, uh, we use our user status on our on our work orders and system status as well okay system status cannot be modified that is system standard you should not modify it yeah user status we can create user status yeah we can create user status okay we can create okay. user status that will see when the configuration part comes we'll see that okay that is user status and uh, anything I need to tell uh, object info okay this object info we can get number of notifications work order scheduling everything we can get documents okay equipment okay. structure everything we can get from this object info very useful thing object info for your equipment how many orders, notifications, preventive scheduling, everything you can come and get here. Okay? Any questions okay. here? Uh, no, no questions there. Okay. So this is this is about anything I need to tell still more. If suppose, okay, if suppose you want to create a sub-equipment, 
subway equipment okay subway equipment is there in pm okay so if 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 this is a subway equipment you need to install this to your equipment correct go to the structure here you can install see here equipment right okay yeah so so this equipment is a sub equipment for this equipment this equipment is a sub equipment for this equipment got it yeah got it this is how to create a sub equipment okay uh, object info you can see okay this is same one this one administrative data okay you can get when created that under details you can get in administrative data okay and uh, display changes what and all changes then we can get from here display changes mm. yeah this is about equipment this is about equipment okay and equipment we can get from the list i h08 display equipment i h08 okay come down give our sort field give our sort field where is sort field yeah give our sort field if you execute we can get the list of equipment not only sort field your maintenance plant see if you put your maintenance plant you will get all your objects see okay this is yeah. ih08 ih08 fine fine yeah, yeah fine on that one yeah okay let me close the meeting you join the meeting again okay i'll close and open fine yeah 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 okay